Uh, academic art in the late 19th century is often very polished, uh, very finished. Uh, Gauguin's work is often very much the opposite of that. The sculpture has a very kind of rough, uh, unpolished surface. Uh, you see that a little bit in the ceramics as well. The paintings, they have that to some extent, but they're also very noticeable for their color. You know, Gauguin is a great colorist. That's part of his invention. That's part of what separates his work. This exhibition is called Paul Gauguin, uh, The Art of Invention. And it really highlights Gauguin's importance as a post-impressionist uh, artist. We wanted to showcase his radical experiment in a range of media. So you'll see in this exhibition paintings, sculpture, ceramics, which I think might surprise people, prints, uh, and also his writings. So you'll see him represented uh, in a range of different media. The works by Gauguin in the show are largely from uh, a collection in Copenhagen, the Nie Karlsberg Glyptothek, which is one of the most impressive collections of Gauguin's work in the world. We've added to that with work from the St. Louis Art Museum collection and a couple of local collections, really to kind of amplify the idea of Gauguin's experiment and also the way in which his travels uh, inform that experiment. The early gallery looks at the importance of Gauguin as an impressionist. He showed at five of the eight impressionist exhibitions. And after that, it kind of traces his travels, his travels to Denmark, to his time in France, in Brittany, and then to various French colonies to Martinique, and then later on uh, to Tahiti and the Marquesas Islands. He lived in Tahiti and the Marquesas for you know, 10 years. So he was, I think, genuinely fascinated by the culture and also aware of the tensions within society at the time, the tensions between the historic Tahitian Polynesian religion and Catholicism. Those tensions were very present on the island and his art is very much about that tension. At the end of the exhibition, we have a book called Modern Thought and Catholicism, which is a 91-page manuscript that Gauguin wrote. As a boy, he was schooled at a Jesuit seminary, so he knew the Bible actually pretty well. And the manuscript that we have here is a kind of mix of his interest in, in Catholicism, Hinduism, Buddhism, ancient Egyptian theology, and also Polynesian theology. So he, he brings all those elements together. It is an important manuscript. It was gifted to the museum by the actor Vincent Price, interestingly, in, in 1948. And I hope this exhibition will help to make it a little bit better known.